the search for clues to a megalithic mystery, Stonehenge, Avebury and associated sites. Salisbury is located in the south of England. Large megaliths stand in a circular formation on an open plain. They are the prehistoric remains of Stonehenge. It's believed that construction of this mysterious monument started around 3000 BC and continued for around a thousand years. The actual purpose of the monument remains unknown. The stone pillars are about four to five metres high and weigh around 30 tonnes each. The standing stones have projections on top to fit capstones. Fallen capstones have dents to fit the two stones tightly together. The site is within a circular ditch. It measures roughly 100 metres in diameter. At the entrance to the site is a large stone known as the heel stone. This stone and the centre of Stonehenge are precisely in line with the sunrise on the day of the summer solstice. And the opposite occurs on the day of the winter solstice at sunset. That's why people believe that Stonehenge was either an ancient astronomical observation centre or a temple where sun worshippers performed rituals. A joint team of specialists are conducting full-scale excavations around Stonehenge. The stones were transported along this road. A great discovery was made during the excavation. Many holes in the ground were found at Stonehenge, and one of them contained human bones for as many as 57 people. This is Woodhenge, located near Stonehenge. Wooden stakes are placed now where log pillars had stood long ago. It would have looked just like the stone circle at Stonehenge. There was a large settlement here, and when people died, their bodies were taken to Stonehenge. Transportation itself was part of the ritual, and Woodhenge was the starting point. People in the prehistoric period associated wood with living matter and stone with the dead. Stonehenge was likely a sacred place where the dead were buried. This ancient site is still full of mysteries, but the latest findings could be an important indicator of one of its main purposes.